Polk County Emergency Management is now operating at a level two activation and experts they say to be in full force by Friday ahead of Hurricane Irma. ABC Action News reporter Andrea Lyon shows us just because people there in that area, Central Florida, doesn't mean that they're out of harm's way. <laughs> Last year was a crazy. Experience tells these Polk County folks. Better be prepared than, you know, sorry, I guess. I'm pre way prepared this year. To get ready and be prepared early. We're not safe. When I found out this morning that they had it over here, I told my husband we're going. Connie Lopez knows all too well. That we're hoping that it won't get bad. They won't hit us as hard. Living through Hurricane Katrina in 2005. It was rough. We were out of our house almost a year. She knows living inland isn't a sure bet. We saw that in Hurricane Charlie in 2004, where it was a fast moving storm came right up over the, the ridge area in Polk County, which is the eastern part of our county, and did a lot of damage in the southern counties and then move through to Osceola and all the way to the, the coast of Daytona Beach. Polk County EOC now working around the clock tells residents to prepare for devastation. It's not going to be pumping the as much rain into our area, but fast moving storm could cause tornadoes. It could cause again, very damaging winds. Winds and potential floods threaten Polk County and the rest of the state. We have a three year old that's more important than anything. So being prepared is Real important for me. Both past and recent history telling these sandbaggers. If it hits us, we're going to feel the impacts. Plenty of water, food, canned goods actually. To be ready for the worst. Unfortunately, that happened to Texas and Houston, but maybe it's making us all a little more aware and a little more alert. Thank you for everything. In Polk County, Andrea Lyon, ABC Action News. Andrea, thank you. And this is an important number to save in your phone right now, just in case. You can find the nearest hurricane shelter to you by texting the word shelter and your zip code to the number 4 FEMA or F3362. Before you go to a shelter, though, always check with your local emergency management agency to make sure it's not full. And remember, texting FEMA is not a substitute for 911.